Hey guys, it's Brick. Welcome back to some more Shatterheart SMP. Um, I have very, very much things to update you on when it comes to the stairway and the dugout room. So, um, this design that you're... Yay! That's how much... <laughs> That's how much we gave in, gal. Okay, so this design you're about to see is pretty much the permanent design. Um, a few minor things might change, or... I don't know, but I, I think, for now, this is gonna be the design I was looking for, so, um... There's going to be like a really terrible looking transition between this room and the staircase, but that's just because this room's not really started yet. But once this room's done, it should look better, but, um, three, two, one, ta-da! <laughs> um, so yeah, as you can see, got vines coming down the side, it's going to have even more of those growing, and basically it's sort of this wooden, you know, just sort of shabby looking stairway, but I like it because it's closed off yet, you can see over the edges. And this room will be dug out a little bit more on each side, so, like, you'll be able to see more stuff down there as you're running down along the stairway. Uh, the one thing that's probably going to change is the lighting. I'm going to find a better way to do that, because I don't like how it looks now. Um, I don't actually have to have lighting, because there's stairs here, so it's optional. But, yeah, I have torches here for now, temporarily. That's sort of... I just, I don't think it looks good. They're evenly spaced, but I just don't think it looks good just having random torches there. And I don't think they looked very good on the uh, fences either. So, I don't know. But um, we're going to go down there and I'm going to show you the crap ton of progress I've made digging out the area. Because, yeah. Alright, so we're at the bottom of the stairway. Um, ignore this really even worse transition here. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do here. But um, this is sort of the strip mine. And for now, I've got a temporary doorway out to the uh, what will be the swampy room. I don't think the doorway is going to be like this. I don't know. But um, anyway... As I was digging out this little doorway, I found diamonds, and I'm going to save those when I get a fortune pick, but... Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, much more open from when you last saw it in uh, episode 5. Um, I dug out this entire middle block here that, would, like, the staircase was built on top of. And then I did, like, I think three more blocks on each side. I think I dug it out, like, to here in episode 5, and I did it all the way to here. So, yeah, um, this is looking a lot more like what the size of the room is going to be, but as I said earlier, it's probably going to be at least two to three more blocks back this way and that way. And then I'll probably try to do a bit of shaping with it. I'm not going to make it some super complicated circular shape, but maybe just sort of like a rounded rectangle or, you know, a squared oval or whatever. Just something so it's not just a giant square. Just give it a little bit of depth. So, um, yeah, that digging is going to be done off camera, and then... Once that happens, then we can start working on this room, but probably not going to do that today. We're actually going to find something else to do today, so um, let me know how you feel about the lighting here. If you have ideas for how to change it, ignore this terrible transition here, because once again, this will all be figured out. Although, like, right here, it looks, looks so bad with those blocks hanging right there. Like, I might move the pillars to here or something. I have no idea what I'm going to do for that, but anyway, yeah. If you have ideas to fix that, I guess, let me know, but... It's not as, as terrible up here, but it's still sort of bad, but yeah. I like how it looks from, like, here to down there, but then I don't like how it looks when you're looking at it from right here. But yeah, let me know if you have any ideas, and, um, yeah, see you in the next part of the video or something. Yay! Alright guys, so I've decided that I think I want to go to spawn and see about where I can build my shop at. So, um, I actually... This is... <laughs> I, man, I really need a storage room so I can start organizing things, because I still don't have any slightly organized, um, chests, really. But, um, anyways, going to go to spawn, we're just gonna bring a bunch of random building blocks, maybe, and see if we can't, you know, figure something out. Um, I don't know, we'll see if we do or not. But, um, why did I not make, like, any of this into polished? <laughs> Let's prank Engal again. Um... But anyway, yeah, not sure what we're going to build, but I'm just going to bring some blocks. I'm probably going to have to get, like, wood and stuff there. Um, and see, the worse than not knowing what I'm going to build is I don't know what I'm going to sell at my shop. Like, I don't even have really any ideas, honestly. Like, if you guys have a good idea for what to sell, something that I could do, I mean, obviously I don't have much right now because that's because I just haven't done tons of mining. I haven't done tons of, you know... I haven't done really any nether exploration yet or anything. I haven't done much enchanting. So, if you guys have any ideas, uh, let me know. But it's probably going to require me to actually get actually grinding on this server instead of just, you know, digging out my base and building and stuff. Because, yeah, I don't really have much to sell. I mean, I don't have even easy things to obtain. I guess I could sell cobblestone, but 
Anyway, uh, I'll get back to you guys when I'm closer to spawn and we can figure out where we want to maybe reserve a spot to build this, and then maybe we can figure out, you know, what the building's gonna look like, I guess. So, see you guys then. Alright guys, here we are. Good old spawn. I wonder if these are actually ever gonna be, like, replaced with lamps or something? Or glowstone? I don't know, I feel like glowstone with trapdoors on it would look good. I don't know, I just, I like the pumpkins and all, but they just seem spooky, and like, now that it's no longer Halloween, I don't know. I might do that, I'll, I'd have to see by the the road constructors themselves, I'd have to ask them if it's okay, but if that is okay, I'll gladly take on the project of uh, doing those lights. So, um, let's find a good spot to do this, I think Engal was actually talking about how he wanted to build a shop like over here, like right here, I hope he didn't mean across the street here, because like, across the street, like, right here by this, like, Wood farm, I guess, could be good, like right here, maybe, but, um, it doesn't, it also doesn't technically have to be connected to a road yet. These roads are, it's kind of just like a giant square around the area right now with, you know, some off shoots like this one. So, they can, oh, the ugly first hut. Good old memories, guys. Um, there's glass in there, I might actually want that, because that's, I mean, it's technically my glass, just from a long time ago. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, the roads, they can be made to, you know, fit with the buildings if they have to. Just as long as I don't go and make it in a really stupid place. Oh, I actually haven't been on this bridge here yet. This is... Okay, I, I really like this bridge a lot, actually. It's like the same theme as the roads, except they've got, like, iron bars here and stuff. This looks really nice. Uh, this is where they're, they're gonna put more lighting, I guess. Um, you know, I'd be fine with maybe having it across the river. But yeah, the lighting's not finished here yet, so I don't know. Um, I'll get back to you guys when I think I found a spot that looks nice, honestly. Alright guys, um, as far as I know, nobody has any plans for right here. I hope not, because I think right here, like right here is a good spot. Is, is there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so this rose. You, Mr. Rose, you're in the middle. The middle here could be where I do things on so let's just let's outline an area what we want for our shop i don't know if this is just going to be a really simple building i mean can you stop i have a building design i like to do a lot but it's um i don't know it's not really shoppy but i mean i can make it shoppy but i also don't remember how to do it at this moment but anyway let's just do the basic outline of the size we're wanting it it's not necessarily going to have to be square but just to get an idea how much space this is going to be taking up because we don't want to take up too much space but there's also not technically any, you know, super harshly defined plot sizes or anything at this time, so. Um, I don't know. See, something like this size is actually kind of perfect for the house design I was thinking of that I do a lot. In fact, yeah, it would be about that size. Maybe, I think maybe out one more would be good. See, the thing is, though, like, depending on what my, my shop is, what if I would want it to be some sort of special themed building, you know? Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. See, I still don't know what my shop is going to be. You guys are going to have to help me with that. But I think I'm just going to make a generic looking building. I mean, a nice looking, but a sort of relatively generic design. Like, it could be any shop. Like, you're not going to look at the building and think, oh, that's a whatever shop. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just a building. And um, if whatever reason I decide my shop is going to be a certain type of, sell a certain type of thing, and I want to just totally rebuild this with a theme, then I'll do that. So, anyway, cue a um, montage of me figuring out how to build this. <laughs> That's kind of what I do. So, yep. So, I'm thinking this block might look decent. Maybe. Basically, um, this is what the general design of the building is. It's basically just going to be this sort of on all sides. Yeah, okay, no, this is not gonna look good. I think I'm gonna go with the original design for what this block is, which is, um, wood. Specifically, spruce wood. Yeah, that just, it looks better. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going, I'm gonna actually maybe make this fatter back this way. Um, which actually means that... Okay, that's good, actually. That means I can make this, I can make one wide doors here. I want to, I think. Wait, no, I'm totally... I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. <laughs> anyway. Oh my gosh, there's so many creepers around spawn. And mobs in general. 
You know what, that might be my thing one day. I'm just gonna come here and light this area in general up a little bit more than it currently is. Um... Oh, Jesus, man. Yeah, you really... <laughs> it's hard to build here at night. And I wish I brought more wood to make a chest. I guess I can... I guess I can use that wood. But so a lot of the stuff I'm not gonna be using for materials, but I also don't wanna just throw it out right now. Like, pretty much all that I'm not gonna be using. Uh, probably not gonna be using that. Alright. I need to make these into panes. Eh, I'll do a little bit more. Alright, so you guys will see, I mean, you can already see the general design of the house, probably, but... This is... Okay, I don't remember if... I think I just do that, maybe? That might look the best. Or maybe there's just a thingy here. Stone brick thingy. Yeah, I think that's just that there. And then... Do, do. And do... Do... But, uh, I think they changed glass panes. They uh, seem to stick out. I mean, I remember they used to fit better in there. But, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Just... Okay, zombie. Anyways. <laughs> Get out of my life. Maybe we could sell books or something and have a cow as our uh, shopkeeper. I think the hardest part for me is always figuring out how I do the roof on here. It's like I always forget how I'm going to do the roof. I know I use slabs, but I think I use like a row of these in there somewhere. I don't know. Let's just do some shizzles with the roof and see what happens. Uh, this is not going to look the best. I always, uh, that's what I always spend the most time on when I do this similar houses to this as the roof and trying to make it look good. But I don't know if I want to spend tons of time on it when, depending on what my uh, shop theme is, I might not even, you know, um, keep the same design at all. I think I had like a multi-layered roof, so I'm pretty sure, but when I used to do this, I have no idea. So, okay, that was weird, guys. I got disconnected a couple times. I don't know if it's me or the server, because it feels like, it seems like CAC isn't getting disconnected when it happens, but, um, I'm gonna try to finish this up pretty quick before it go my like my internet goes out completely and I can't finish this. So we're gonna do the floor here or figure out a pattern for the floor and then you guys let me know how you want me to continue with this um with this uh thingy. So okay, and actually first Thank you, extremely loud vehicle outside. Yes, it does not assert your dominance. By making your engine as loud as you can possibly make it, little known fact. Okay, to kill a cow in here because it wouldn't move, but anyway, we're gonna see how this flooring looks. Uh, yeah, it might be my internet doing something dumb, which I hope not. Because this is something that needs to be uploaded. Um, okay, how does this look? I mean, ugh. Oh god, never mind. <laughs> when I was placing that, I was like, oh, you know, this will look pretty good. Nope. <laughs> nope. Look at it overall, it's pretty ter- actually... I don't know why I'm bothering replacing that with that block, because I'm probably not going to use these anyway. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm very frightened for my internet right now. So let's quickly do something here. Do... I had an idea. Wait, no, this is how you do it now. Fences are stupid now. You have to do stupid things for fences. Alright. Do like this. Have a shopkeeper back there or something. Have a chest maybe back there. One chest for buying things, one for taking things. I don't know. We'll figure it out. You guys let me know. It's a pretty quaint shop from this look. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure I like it. I will probably do some. If you have any personal suggestions for the building, let me know. Although I'll probably mess around with it myself and most importantly let me know what you want me to sell and buy and let me know what you want me to do with the floor the floor is pretty terrible but the rest of the building's all right i just might make some changes might make it slightly bigger probably might change the roof might change this but yeah so let me know uh we'll probably only spend a couple minutes on that next episode though but yeah let me know what you think i should sell even if it's something i don't have a lot of right now because it could be you know a, a more longer term goal and thank you guys for watching. Sorry, uh, 
for, um, just, yeah, yeah, I don't know, I'm sorry for existing, I guess, guys, I apologize, and, um, <laughs> like, oh gosh, it's so depressing, alright, thanks for watching, see you guys next episode, goodbye, hi, it's Kak, goodbye.